everybody welcome back it's Zaz so I have not done a don't star video in a super long time like the last time was literally over a year ago and it wasn't even with the first character that you could play in the game it was with Wickerbottom and the reason why I did Wickerbottom first was because well mainly because I feel like Wickerbottom's not played as often as many others because so many people understood her but I'm going to be back to start off with Wilson. I'm going to try and go down the line and like some of these characters I'll actually be learning as I try to make the videos because like Wigfrid, I barely know her but I feel like as I was playing her recently that I'm getting to know her better. I, I feel like I found the secret to, play, to playing her but we're here to talk about Wilson, our OP dude, our OP character where all this started out. It's all because of him actually. So, Wilson's full name is Wilson Percival Higsbury. He's also known as the Gentleman Scientist, which, <laughs> you know, they just basically like shorten all the characters so they look a lot younger to me. So he actually looks like a kid. Um, anyways, so he's the first one you get to play. Don't need any, ex any experience whatsoever. He's just, boom, he's your most basic character. And to me, I feel like he's not, not over, I don't want to say overpowered, but he's like, there's no drawbacks to him at all. So he's like the very, like the best character you could play as, almost. Um, his perk is his beard, which I'm about to show you how to, how to use. Um, and I'll explain more about his beard later. But um, his health, hunger, and sanity are all the basic ones. They're all at the default set. Um, one so they don't the default numbers so th there's no like below or higher it's just like that's the standard usually so if any of the other characters have a this number or that number that's then that's considered higher or lower than the default okay so the default with health hunger and sanity is 150 health 150 hunger 200 sanity and um so yeah, if you want more information, I'm going to put the link to the wiki, or you could just type up Wilson Don't Starve in the wiki for it. It will be right at, like, right at the top of your search suggestions. And, uh, but yeah, let's, let's talk more about him. So, if you haven't seen Cly Clyde's, in Clay's entertainment video for him just yet, you should, because it's, it's so, so interesting. I... I always like the style of this, Tim Burton style. But anyways, um, so he's a scientist. He got tricked into, um, into making the machine, Maxwell's machine, by Maxwell somehow, because he got mixed magic all up there, because he felt he was at a low. He he was at a low point in his life. Like none of his inventions were working, I believe. And so when Maxwell came up and was like. Hey, I can help you. I like look at all this knowledge. Just build this thing, and everything will open up for you. And so he ended up um, pulling the lever of that of the machine, and that's how he got dragged down into into this world. So his special power that's, his special power is his beard. That's his special power, and you can use it for two things things okay and depending on the length obviously so I want to tell you how long it takes to grow the beard and what you get out of it there's three tiers of his beard the first one it takes you four days to grow it and if you shave it then remember you have to make the razor to shave it you get one beard hair and the insulation time for the winter segment is 15 seconds long the second tier it takes seven days to get there. You get three beard hairs, and it keeps you. The insulation time is forty-five seconds. And the last tier is, um, you know, that's the longest it's going to grow. It's called a magnificent beard, and it takes fifteen days, which you will get nine beard beard hairs. So nine, nine, nine. Yeah, nine. I think, I think that's nine and it's either that or that. I think it's this. And that will keep you insulated for 135 seconds. You have to keep warm, anyways. 
So that's that's really nice in the winter, you know, because he's really good for surviving the winter. But what I want to show you is something I really like with them. You can make meat effigies a lot easier than the other characters. The other characters, like, if you're playing random giants, I don't remember if it's in survival mode too, but you could go, like, beat up some uh, were pigs, get beard hairs. You can make yourself go insane with the sanity locket, I believe that's what it's called. And then you can go kill a bunch of rabbits and then take off the locket and you'll, you'll be sane again. That's another way. But his beard hair, like, I feel like that's just so neat. You don't have to risk anything. But what you do have to do, what you do have to risk for meat effigies is killing whatever it is for the meat. Because you need four meat to make it. But whenever you, uh, shave your beard, you gain 10 sanity. Because I think it feel how it brings back some sanity is like, it's normalizing your situation because like here they don't have to shave nobody's expecting them to shave or or i don't know like a razor could be like more modern and it's like oh my gosh yeah i am you know i'm not just stuck in an island like i'm a person or something you don't have to shave your beard i'm not trying to say that but it, it helps with the sanity so if you're low on sanity and you don't need that beard for whatever reason just just she. Uh, yeah, there's a whole lot more to Wilson. Like, if you can't understand what the heck I'm saying because of my speech, you can always go to the wiki I'll be adding in down there. And now I'm going to show you how to make me effigy. So, it's day 19. My glorious, magnificent beard is right there. My razor right here. What you need is to press the hat to to tater. You see right there? So you need four bunnies. So you gotta get good at catching bunnies. And you also need a top hat that requires six silk and a science machine. And four boards also need a science machine for that. And it's like four wood, four logs, four board. Okay? So, meat effigy. Hmm. Four boards. You need four cooked meat. By the way, cooked meat. It has to be cooked meat. And you need beard hair. So, you only really need to grow your beard out. You can either do it seven days and then four, so it'll be, you'll have enough hairs within 11 days. But I prefer to just grow it all out and get those nine hairs. I think it says, it says nine hairs, but I'm, I don't know. Don't count me on that. So, oh yeah, ignore my vase if you don't like it, because... <laughs> It's just a throwaway base. So I'm gonna stand away from the fire. Don't want anybody to accidentally get burnt with my beard hair. And like, look at all that beard hair. That is nine hairs. So, by the way, that's a glomer. If anybody's wondering, that's a glomer. You can only get in Rain of Giants. I'm not sure about Don't Starve Together, but Rain of Giants. Not in the survival mode, Rain of Giants. So, now we got our nine beard hair. We got our cooked meat, and we got our boards. It's gonna ding. Now we got our meat effigy. Isn't that awesome? So, I usually, like, build it inside my camp, because I don't want to, like, come back to life yeah. far away from a camp. So what it does, it takes away some of your health as well. That's the downside to it. But, uh, yeah, that's how you make a meat effigy. And how to sort of play Wilson just remember to always have a fire lit at night whether it be a torch whether it be eating a glow berry a fire endothermic fires also count so there's that you might have to you could jump from fire to firefly to firefly which is a lot harder get a miner's hat where you just gotta catch a firefly you know make all that that's as long as you have some kind of light so Charlie doesn't get you it is okay okay and if you ever wonder how I get all those berry bushes I just get a shovel you can move your resources around okay and why do I have a glomer why do I have a glomer okay well it's cute it's cute but it has glomer goop 
and in Rain and the Giants when it gets hot outside, and you have an Ice fling o -matic, you Glamour Goop is really good at refueling those. Okay. So what else can we do with your beard hairs? That I don't really remember what else we can do with your beard hairs. But I'm sure there's something else you can use it for. So there's not really much else you can do with beard hairs. But since I, it drops so many, I could easily make another meat effigy. So I can, I can make two meat effigies at this moment. But I prefer... Not two right now, especially since the hounds are coming. Um, so where you can get your meat is from like beefalo or when the deer clubs come. I got mine from the pigs, okay? So that's one way. I just feel like the pigs are a lot easier. I used a tentacle spike, I had my football helmet on, I had my log suit on. But yeah, also the only other usage for beard hairs would be in Don't Starve Together when you make Bernie, I think. That's his name, the little bear for Willow. But yeah, other than that, there's not a lot of things you can do with beard hair. Except gain sanity. <laughs> so thank you again for everybody to come coming out and checking out my video. Um, so yeah, that's just Wilson. Wilson is very basic. He can do anything, you know, he can eat it. He won't... He has no downsides. None at all. He's a lot better to survive winter with. Really. Um... Yeah, thank you again. I think next time I'm going to talk about Willow or Wendy. Wendy's my favorite. Wendy is my girl. And I will see you guys in around. Have a good day, good night, good whatever you're experiencing. I hope everything's going well with school, work, or whatever you are doing with your life. Um, check me out on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash ITS underscore Z-A-Z. It's Zaz. If you don't know what the heck an underscore is, that little line, you know? So, yeah. I will see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>